All right, there have been in the days those times when people were selling their homes in order to buy a bigger home because the families were growing. Spokane is growing and we're seeing a lot of people come in from out of town. We're seeing other people move up into different neighborhoods and wanting or uh, a more desirable place to live. Some of them want less to do. Uh, so they're invented the condo and the townhouse and things like that. Tom Clark joining us now, president elect for the Spokane Association of Realtors, a huge open house weekend uh, coming up this weekend and you're gonna be able to really delve into all of those different things, whether it's a bigger home, a smaller home, whether it's a townhouse. If you never want to touch a lawnmower again, this will be your opportunity. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. That's Thank almost you. like we're on a, a, a set for the night shows. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about real estate. You've been doing this well, almost 30 years. Close. Right 27. here in 27 years since I rounded up. Right. I rounded up. Well, and I um, round down. <laughs> I see it, <you>, 25. <laughs> no, uh, so 27 years, you've seen it all, 2008, Prior to that, when interest rates were just crazy, stupid sure. high, sure. we've had a really good run this last five years. I mean, very good, we've absolutely. Had some very positive things happen in the market. How are we looking today when it comes to, to housing? Let's do the big overall conversation. Well, I think I think the Spokane market is still poised for more growth. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've had an issue with the lack of inventory over the last number of years, uh, supply and demand more more demand than there is supply and unfortunately that's created well fortunately and unfortunately that's right. created appreciation for those folks that want to sell it's a great time to sell because properties are selling at the highest they've ever sold right um, it's a tough market for buyers because okay. they're running into competition for every home that's on the market they're paying premium and they're paying a premium price okay. does that mean the market's nearing a peak uh, not necessarily you know okay. I, I was watching one of the national news uh, headlines just yesterday and they talked about how the real estate market was down and I said well that's why I'm not wearing a raincoat mm -hmm. because it's not raining in Spokane it's right. raining someplace else. There are a lot of people that have told me I'm, I'm tired of my backyard I'm tired I, I don't I want to enjoy my life they're mm -hmm. of that whatever that age is <laughs> pointing fingers where they want to just be able to live right you know and, and just have a place so we're in a townhouse right now tell me a little bit about this this is a new project it is a new project, and it's very close to downtown. Mm -hmm. We're right on East Hartson at 870, 861, I believe, East Hartson, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a, uh, there's several units here, go all the way around the block. They range from about 330 to 460 um, with lots of options, lots of amenities and lots of options. All right, very, the one we're in is an end unit. Uh, it's a little more. You also have a lot of windows. You've got a lot of views here. Um, it's got two masters upstairs, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you've got room, yep, right. um, and it's got it, it's really a simple layout. I mean, it's not complicated. It's comfortable. It's got a very simple, nice, clean kitchen, easy to keep clean, yep. Walk, um, walkable. Yeah, you know, walk to the to the the bridge going over to the GU to the you know University District. Uh, um, Hospitals just a couple blocks away. I mean. It, right. For those who like to bike, or maybe you've got a moped, or you know sure. whatever it may be, this is ease of use when it comes to downtown Spokane. Right. And into the heart of Spokane, there's uh, units that are becoming available there. Is, is oh, there are. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's, sure. it's more, crazy. More and more loft type apartments and mm -hmm. loft uh, condos. You're going to be able to find anything from land with a home on it. You're going to be able to find the townhouses or the condos. You're going to be able to find, um, you know, maybe a, a smaller starter home. Sure. They're, they're fewer and far between. They and are. there's a lot of competition for those those homes that are 150 to 225. A huge amount of competition. Right. I, I have some people looking in that price range right now and that we haven't written an offer that didn't have at least 10 offers on it. All right. So again, yeah. for those of you who own that, um, it's a really good option to sell. The issue is where do you live after you sell it? You've almost right. got to do a double deal. You do. To, to find that next place and to sell yours. And, and they're happening like that all the time. They are, and, and, but it's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult, uh, and that's part of the, the reason we have a shortage of inventory, because the people that do need to move up are hesitant to sell for fear they won't be able to find something to buy. Right. And so it, it's kind of a catch-22. Let's talk about this for a minute. We've, we've talked about the inventory, it's down. Prices are, are up. I mean, it's it's great for a seller's market. It, it's very competitive for a buyer. Um, they're going to have to be on top of their game. They're going to have to have those budgets in line. They're going to be pre-qualified. You, you've got to have your game right. together before you walk in the door. Well, yeah, they'll need to be pre-approved. And, and most lenders now realize that. And so they're actually doing a pre-underwriting. 
Okay. Getting them so approved that it's only going to take two weeks to close once they get a transaction. Right. And, and we're getting better at this. I mean, we've we been are. doing it for hundreds of years. We're getting better yeah. at it. Yeah. Now let's let's talk about that human factor that we have not yet mentioned. You've been selling homes and dealing with real estate for 27 years. Um, we've all owned and sold property. We've all known the, the, the pitfalls. We've all, we all have the stories, but that realtor, that trained professional that, that comes into your life that you pick mm -hmm. exactly. um, is going to guide you and be your friend, you know, and uh, probably in every, every penny they're going to get, depending, you know, because they need to help you in all those really those decisions to, oh, to budget and what you're looking at and where's a good place and being patient. Sure, sure. Well, and, and quite often I'll tell buyers that just be 100% honest with me with what you want, what you need, what you desire, and I'll help you find it. Yeah. If, you, if you play hide and seek with me, I can't, if I can't see what you see, then, then it's going to be a lot more difficult. What would you like people to know when it comes to the open, all the open houses this weekend? And well, first of all, they can go to SpokaneOpen.com. Okay. And look at, see how many homes are open and where they are and, and get an idea. They can map it out and, and go look at as many homes as they want to just to get a feel for what's going on in the areas and what's going on in the neighborhoods. Um, if they do that, they'll be a little bit more educated when they're out there. Right. Uh, on the other hand, if they're targeting a specific area, they can just look for open houses. They can in go right area. in where it's Shadal area or wherever they might want to go. They're exactly. going to be able to find the, the grouping SpokaneOpen.com is the key to finding all of them. As you go out there, make sure that you have and talk to your realtor about this, your list of your needs and wants. Is it first floor laundry? It, you know, is it mm -hmm. two car garage? Is it, you know, no mowing whatsoever? Whatever those that list is. Well, and I've also heard that there may be some new listings come on the market just for the weekend. Okay. So we all know that the inventory is short and, and homes sell very quick. Yeah. Some of these people that know that they were gonna put their home for the for the open house weekend have not put it on the market in advance on purpose. And so buyers may have a couple of opportunities that they wouldn't have had last week. All right, um, enjoy your weekend. Uh, again, SpokaneOpen.com. You're gonna be able to go and find something within your price range, something within the area you wanna live, but more importantly, work with your realtor to make sure that you know all those questions are being asked and answered. Thank you again. You're gonna find what you need. Okay, good luck.